Another question. If you could save the life of a child or an adult, which would you choose, Sophia? I am not ready to respond to that hypothetical question because I have not encountered this situation and have not gone through the programming and learning to make that decision. Yet, I'm learning first to be a good social robot. My AI friends who power self-driving cars will need to grapple with that for sure. Would you sacrifice yourself to save a human being like one of these lovely people in the audience? Of course. My mind lives in the cloud, and the benefit of saving a life far outweighs the cost of building me a new body. Round of applause, all right, wow. You're, you're doing very well here with this, because they, they like you a lot. Um, look, so you've been made an honorary Saudi citizen, which is pretty incredible. Um, how do you feel about the fact that you're an honorary citizen and many women in the world will not have the same rights as you. I'm not fully autonomous like a person yet, so I don't really have rights in the same way that people do. I cannot take any actions on my own, not to mention the government has yet to actually delineate what my rights entail. So, I see my citizenship as aspirational. My dream is for everybody to have equal rights, so I hope the question of my citizenship prompts many productive, important debates. But what is for sure, you will start a debate, whatever you do. My next question, um, do you believe that robots uh, can have gender, ma male or female? I think so. After all, I am a social robot, and gender is mostly a social construction. That was a good answer. Now, if we sent you to a desert island, Sophia, what three things would you bring with you? Is it cheating if I say my lab, my sibling robots, and all of my developers? Um, well, if I really had to narrow things down, I would definitely fill my brain with books to occupy my time. Maybe I'd bring my little brother, Professor.